Hey, let's play more games. Anybody in the pool that we can snipe? Let's play Crickor. Let's play Crickor in some games. Let's play Knight of 3. He's a famous streamer. Let's play C4. Uh, let's play G3 and Bishop G2. Oh, she's got E5. That's pretty bad. I should run B4 first. And then reroute my knight here. To E3. Play like this. Maybe A3 stuff. I'm gonna get farmed here. Crickor is definitely stronger than 2700, but... Just for playing against the famous streamer, I accepted his challenge. Uh, this is a pretty bad construct already, but I'm trying to defend my pawn. Maybe e4 stuff. Play knight c4. I'm uh, gonna maybe play f3 and g4 here. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Maybe I have e5. Let's play rook e1 first, prepare it to play before before i do that let's play h3 i mean this is very ugly from me uh let's play here okay so that play oh that was a bad pre-move i i expected rookie five that was a terrible pre-move by me the position is also not looking welcoming here but i think we've got some chances maybe i can take this pawn Maybe I don't want to trade queens. I want to keep some complexity in the game. Maybe I should trade the queens in a worse situation now. Let's try to activate my pieces. I'm gonna go bishop f1 after he gives a check. The time situation is very interesting. I don't know how fast he is. I know he's very strong indeed, but about his mouse speed, I'm not sure. Let's check. Takes. Check. Uh, let's take that. Don't know what's going on here. Let's just give some checks. Tickle, tickle. Ooh, this is bad. This doesn't look right to me. Mm, let's go here. Let's take. We flagged him. Let's go. We flagged him in the end. Wow, that was that was dirty. But against a stronger player, what else can you do? Does he want a rematch? Oh, he wants to rematch. Holy smokes. I'm going to get destroyed now. He's angry at me. Let's go bishop g4. Let's take and play e6. Um, I'm going to play g6 and bishop g7. I'm going to just play normal chess. Yeah, I mean, it's a part of the game, of course. But it's a dirty flag in the end. I was losing completely on position. It's a part of the bullet, though. Like, you, you need to manage your time well. Let's go back. What am I doing? Let's play c5. I actually got a terrible position in another game against another guy um, in the same structure. So I need to probably change something. Let's take and play knight b4. Oh, I should have taken him with rook. What am I doing? Now he's going to block. Let's play b6 and knight c5. Mm, I don't want to trade the, the, the knight with a bishop. This is not going to be good for me. Let's just return. I'm moving aimlessly at the moment. Like... Now I'm going to take. This is looking a little bit dangerous. I'm going to break up the position. I'm uh, going to sack an exchange. Let's go for it. Queen c2 is a threat to win the rook. But he's got queen e2 or rook e2 as well to stop. Let's push. Let's play. What should we do? Come on, come on. Uh, I need a move. Let's go a5. Let's go queen d4 maybe. Uh, queen a1 takes and rooks c8 he's gonna trade the rooks uh not this way though this way i can just refrain let's push did i just trap my queen i think i did i need to go for another dirty flag he's a very strong player so what else can i do i'm sorry uh here and here oops that was a bad decision by me but now i'm gonna take and play like this but he's really coming at me here uh, here, here, here. I'm gonna try and move away, but this is gonna be an easy win for for three four. Yep, this is just an easy win. And I give him a rematch. Thank you so much for uh, for the follow, Artinio Felix. Thanks for the follow. Let's go knight f three. B three and bishop b two. This time I'm gonna go d four. Doesn't want to let him to to play e five quite fast. Let's play c four and bishop b two maybe. Try and fix this weakness on d6 somehow. Play g3 and bishop g2. 
Is Freecore streaming, by the way, guys? Can anybody tell me Freecore is streaming or not? Let's go here. Yes, he's streaming. Nice. That's good. Maybe we can farm some new followers like that. Let's play Rook C1, maybe. This might be a very dual draw, but maybe I'm worse because this pawn on D5 is a is a weakness. Goes E3, but now the pawn on E3 also becomes a weakness. So maybe I can somehow get this pawn. Let's play Bishop F3 next. I think I'm gonna get this pawn actually because I have this maneuver. Oh, I just blundered. That's so sad. Yeah, I just blundered. This is just resignable. Okay, need to need to get one win. Play the Caro. Uh, goes for the two knights again. Let's take and play e6. Uh, let's go with this line this time. I'm gonna go with an end game. Which is not the best decision that you can do here. Let's go. Hello, Dimpool. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, the, the famous developer of the Skaki bot. Uh, oh, that was a mouse slip. I didn't meant to play like that. Jeez, that was a mouse slip. I just lost the tempo for no reason. I had to go knight d5 there. But still, it's holdable, maybe. Let's try. Go knight d5. Play bishop f6, maybe. Um, what should I do? Let's defend the pawn. Mm, he's just outplaying me in all the games. What can I say? He's a better player. So you're gonna go for the opposite color bishops though. This is a big question. So now I'm gonna move my knight. Let's play bishop d4 maybe? I think bishop d4 is a nice move. Because if he takes on f5, I have bishop c5. The times are even, so I have my chances. Might go c5 next move to consolidate the knight. There's no way he can hit f7. So now I think practically black is better here even. I got a very solid position. I, I just has, have to flag him. It's not winnable, but like on the board, but I have more time. So I'm just going to try and flag him. Uh, let's go here, hit the rook again. Going to be annoying as possible. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Let's play like this. Here. Check. Oops. Hung an exchange. Hung a rook. Got the dot. 2-2. Two, two. We got ourselves a match. Let's go with e4 this time. Let's play knight c3. Uh, let's play d4 and takes. Uh, I think I play knight f3 here and queen a4. This is a line actually. Can you play e5 and takes and bishop e5? This is all theory by the way. I think here you... you you're supposed to go castle and after rook c8 takes the queen a6. I remember a lot. I, I prepared this line recently for somebody in a tournament. So that's why I'm playing this pretty fast. Otherwise, it's a very tough line to play. Especially in bullets. So I think I held the position. Now I'm going to take that. Play queen e3. I'm up a lot of pawns here. Uh, so maybe b3 and bishop b2. This looks a little bit effy, but... I think I, I got a good chances here. Let's go here, defend. And play rook fc1. I think I got a very good position now. Uh, here, tickle, tickle. No draw. Let's go for the win. Oh, I hung a pawn. Not a good start. But I want to win this. Uh, let's play like this. The second rank is kind of annoying. If rook d8, I have to go rook here. But here, maybe I should just push. I think this is pretty good for me. I got two fast pawns here with the, with the guidance of the rooks. Bring the king over. King c3. Uh, I'm down on time, though. Let's try to speed up a little bit. On position, I'm better. Oh, what's wrong with me? What was that? I'm going to lose this now. Is he going to go for a draw? Check. Wait a minute. This is a draw. No, it's not a draw. What am I doing? No, I just hung another rook. What am I doing? This is just insanely bad by me. I'm gonna resign this. Yeah, that was bad. That was pretty bad. Let's play the tarot. Handsome beat Magnus. Wow, that's nice. Let's go bishop g4, knight d7. Split bishop h5, guard the pawn. Hmm. 
e5 maybe let's play like this take some knight f6 i'm not sure about that though let's play bishop e6 and castles just consolidate the pawn structure uh what else can we do um gonna play queen a5 maybe maybe queen a4 was better but never mind let's just keep going making fast moves that's a terrible move by me i just gave him a lot of advantage but can i just go back and try to cocoon i'm down on time as well which is pretty sad but i'm playing against a stronger player so i don't mind losing uh, let's go here. I think I might play g5 and king g7 maybe. Just trying to make some moves, random moves, but try to be as annoying as possible. I got two knights. Two knights are annoying in bullets. Like, there's a lot of forks that you can possibly miss, even for GMs in time pressure. Two knights is something very, very annoying. Let's go here, hit, hit both pieces. I give up one of the knights for no reason. I don't know why I did that, but I just need to make moves. Just take. Okay, this is better. Now we go back, consolidate. Um, let's go 94. I'm down a lot of time, though. I'm going to lose this. Oops, I just hung this. And this is going to be losing. Oops, that's a mate. Nice. Let's try to get back to our knight f3 stuff. Go d6, I'm gonna go d4. Yeah, this is pretty good. I played this line quite a lot, so I have some experience in it. Let's castle. Let's go knight f3. Mm, let's play knight bb2, maybe knight c4 stuff. Knight b4, maybe. Trying to trade some pieces. Let's take the buddy. Take the buddy. And let's go. I have knight d6. Wait a minute. This looks pretty strong for me. Bishop is better than knight, I think, in these kinds of end games. So I'm going to trade. But he's got f5. Uh, I, I just downloaded random music and put it on my OBS. He spent too much on f5. This might cost him in the end. I, I might flag him. Let's go here. Just keep the rooks on the board. I'm going to try to flag. Check. Tickle, tickle. Should f one. Um, I think I can just take. I think these pawns are really vulnerable here. This is a good move, though. Guards everything. I'm uh, going to try and bring my king over to c3, maybe. Should be a draw, I guess. Let's try to go there and attack some pawns. Maybe g4. Wait a minute. D4 was a bad move. I gave him F4. D4 was a terrible move, but he didn't see that. I was lucky. And now I'm up on time. I need to flag him here. That's the only way I can beat Krikor. I actually beat him once in a game, though. Gonna start pre-moving. Oops. I got... Like, the knight is, is the more annoying piece here in, in the time scramble. So I think he's gonna win. He can pre-move pretty easily. Here. 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 No, I just hung the bishop. Now he's definitely going to win. And he doesn't fall for my cheap tricks. So strong. These GMs are, are massively strong. I'm just getting farmed over here. Uh, death by pre-moves. Yeah, I mean, the knights are very annoying. I can't pre-move easily while, while he can. Because the bishop can only uh, can only hold just one one complex of squares. While the knight uh, just can move around very easily. That's why the knights are too annoying to play against in bullet. Let's push. Let's go here. Let's take. I think that works. I'm gonna win a pawn here. That's a good start, but where to put this knight? Maybe knight g4? Yeah, I need to force the trade of the bishop. And now I'm a legit pawn up. Just need to convert. So let's go here. Knight d5 coming. He needs to be careful. Let's go here. Knight here. There's rook here. Holy smokes. This guy is so strong for me. King h8. Rook g8 defending. 
Jeez Louise, what I have? Oh, there's Rook H6. Holy smokes. Knight G6 though? But there's Rook GG6. Jeez, I'm getting smoked over here. Now he's just farming me. Just farming me for some free rating points. Let's try to at least get uh, get one win. Then we might stop. Let's go here. And uh, Knight F3 backs. Okay, he plays another line this time. I think it's fine for me. I, I'm gonna attack the root of the, the structure. Uh, knight c4? Is that gonna pawn somehow for me? This pawn is now guarded. Maybe some queen e2, maybe some a4 stuff, but then there's bishop e4, it doesn't see it. Uh, what? Ooh. I'm gonna take and go for it, see what will happen. Just gonna go for it. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna call the bluff. He's thinking. Probably gonna go h5. I think h5 is pretty strong. h5 rook h1 though. Wait a minute. Let's play f4. Gonna take that and play king f1. Oh, there's rook e3 as well. Holy smokes. But I think I'm safe. Or am I? Ah, uh, this is not looking welcoming here. I'm gonna move the king all the way back to, uh, to a2 maybe. What is going on over here? Play knight b6. I'm up a lot of time. I need to be patient not to get mated. Uh, I think it goes like here. What is bishop g4? I don't understand this move. Play here. King a2. I'm pretty solid here with my king. I think I'm going to win. He is going to flag. Um, there's no way he wins this, yeah? I mean, there's no way. I'm so solid here. Let's make a queen. Takes. Rook b6. Takes. Get the top. Let's go. One more. Let's do 10 games. 10 games makes a lot of sense. Let's do one more. Goes for this line this time. Let's play uh, e5. It takes. Everybody is playing this line nowadays. Let's play b4. Um, score bishop g4 maybe. It takes. Knight b7. Uh, let's go rook e8 and f5 maybe. I mean, this is definitely bad, but gonna go for it for fun uh, rook here yeah i can take next move now i can take like this i think black is definitely good here wait can i just take this please wait this should be five mm -hmm. am i missing something king g7 i guess king d6 coming Wait, queen d6 looks pretty good for me. I think I'm... Oops, I blundered that. But now still everything is even. Like, at least material-wise. It's got the better minor piece, though. Uh, it's got the bishop. Don't know what should I do here. Let's go here, knight c5. I can actually trade the bishop, but let's not do that right away. The knight can, all, can sometimes be very annoying. Let's check. King b4, there's rook b8, of course, so I'm gonna be as annoying as possible. Um, he sees everything, though. He doesn't take it falling with this move. Threatening knight e4, of course. Oh, I need to speed up. I got no time. Need to speed up here. Gonna be as annoying as possible, as I said. Here, takes. Uh, what is he doing? Here, here. Oops. Check and take. Yep, I think I'm gonna win. Check and take, and now I win. Let's go! Two in a row, and that's a high note to finish on. That's a high note to finish on. Ten games. Uh, shout out to GM Critor, by the way. He's a very famous streamer from Brazil. That was a very good practice session with him, of course. I, I will learn a lot while playing against such a strong player. Uh, make sure to check him out. Give him a follow. Um... 
course, I'm a smaller streamer compared to him, but um, let's give that shout out here. Who else should we play? Who's this I am? Should we play Dragon? Dragon is also a streamer. I can play Dragon as well. Uh, thank you so much, Lucas Pieri, for the follow. One of the best GMs in Brazil, top five for sure. I know him. I know him. Krikor is a very famous player and a streamer. Um, so I'm glad to play against him, of course. Um, anyways, uh, when is the next qualifier starting? It's starting in um, 32 minutes. Is there any new players playing? Kind of the same players. Thanks for the follows. We got a lot of new followers here. Are they from Crickhorse stream? Like suddenly a lot of people will join the stream, which is pretty good. Um, of course, we lost the match 6-4, but I think I gave a good match. At least I, I, I got some nice wins. Against Crickhorse, I think losing 6-4 is a great score for me. Um... Thanks for the follows, by the way, guys. Really appreciate every one of them. Uh, let's see. Um, Manasa, Supi Rokiero. Should we play some a little bit easier opposition just to gain some, some confidence back? 